So, folks, I want to welcome you guys to Alaskan Road Truckers. Um, I actually screwed this up last time. I'm going to go ahead and admit. I was kind of sick when I played this demo about a week and a half ago, and uh, I didn't play the right demo. I was playing the old build from like a year ago, and my goodness, the game looks completely different. We're in like the middle of a town right now. Yeah, I think I need to talk to this lady here. Uh, it's my job manager, so let's go ahead. And oh, look, we have our job. So we're taking refinery equipment to the PH refinery. Looks like a pretty easy job, so I want to go ahead and take this. And uh, yeah, this is our truck. I like that it's got the release date of the game, like on the back of it. That's fantastic. All right, so we want to hook this up. I actually want to see what's changed because, like I said, I was getting kind of sick last week and... Uh, <laughs> I just was not paying attention, unfortunately, to the email, and it was like, oh, by the way, uh, that was the old build. This is the new one, you dingus. By the way, they didn't call me a dingus. So, uh, we're ready to hook this bad boy up. Uh, looks pretty good so far. Uh, the game looks different. Like, this is definitely a much updated build. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put this up here. You can actually see my arms. You Like, you actually pick a character now, which is really cool. And there we go. That is locked up and ready to go. Let's get into the truck. See if anything's changed about this. Definitely a different truck, but man, it's uh, it's pretty. All right, see, so they we're gonna run into some bad conditions here. I love the little animation of getting into the truck. Definitely a little bit different dash. So we have dashboard lights going. Oh, you actually click the buttons. That's so cool. I uh, got a push start ignition. Let's go handbrake off. Uh, any other buttons I can interact with? There's the heater. We got a radio in here. Uh, do we still have the back sleeper cab? I do have a sleeper cab in the back. All right, so we're ready to go here. Uh, let's go ahead and put it into gear. Oh, there it goes. And we are rolling. Uh, go ahead and check the camera here. Oh, beautiful. All right, you're going to need to let me out of this park. So I, I noticed now that you actually can see the seasons in the top left. Uh, so we are coming out of winter. I wonder if we're going to run into any snow. I mean, it looks completely different because the demo was just pure snow. And I think this is so cool that you have a game that actually goes through the seasons here. And you'll have to prepare accordingly. Of course, it is kind of a survival game too. Like, you got to take care of your trucker also. By the way, I have not a clue. I got a little GPS in the bottom left that I can look at. Uh, this is a charming little town. Like, it looks a lot more alive definitely now. Hey, pay attention to the cockpit. Uh, I wonder, is that the radio if I turn that on? Okay, that's just music. There's the heater, differentials down there. Oh, we got like a little uh, marker that tells us where to go up at the top. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull out of here. I don't need no blinkers. All right, so we're getting on the uh, road. As you can see, I do have a time limit on how long I can play here today, but do want to once again thank the dev for giving me access to this, and hopefully we'll be bringing you guys the full game when it comes out. Man, look at that beautiful Alaskan countryside. Uh, we got lodging coming up. Got some traffic on the road here. Uh, don't really know how big the map is. I assume I can hit OM. Here we go. Oh, this is... Oh, it's much bigger uh, than the previous demo. My goodness, it goes all the way up there. That's cool. All right. Oh, uh, is there a dash light? Okay, keep the dash lights on there. I don't know how much money I have. I got about a quarter tank of gas right now. Uh, I would like to stop off at one of the gas stations. I don't know if it's going to have me automatically do that. By the way, let me switch over here. Okay, I do have controller support, so I'm playing with the controller now. I had it sitting beside me. I was like, you know what? Let's switch this just to see how the driving is. Okay, it is telling me to refuel at the nearest gas station. We should probably figure out where that is. I don't think it's actually... Yeah, it's just pointing me to the, the job itself. Uh, do we have a gas station? There was probably one in town up there. All right, we're gonna just switch this to only show the gas stations here. That way I can figure out where I am actually going. And the gas station... Oh, we got one coming up around the corner. Okay, good. Ah, oh, this is cool. There's something peaceful about simulator games, especially trucking games. Uh, absolutely love them. But I do think this one's doing something quite a bit unique, uh, compared to any others. Okay, oh, uh, gas station. Okay, you got a gas station on the left side. Do I have a blinker? Oh, there's my lights. I'm trying to see if it's mapped already to the controller. Uh, any blinker? It's not like I really use one half the time anyway, but I mean, it's like a common courtesy. Okay, so we are gonna pull into here. It looks like there's something inside. Oh, can we go inside of it now? Also, I don't know what that is over there. There's like a marker to the right. I need to pull in. So I need to get in between the lines, and then we're going to apply the handbrake. So let's go ahead, work our way through here. Okay, wait for it to turn green here. It's yellow. Okay, there we go. So we can now fuel up. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to turn on our handbrake here. So let's go handbrake. 
Uh, that is going to be on, and then ignition off. There we go. Uh, by the way, can we get back into the sleeper cab right now? Oh, there we go, to the cabin. Uh, oh, uh, there's a full animation for that. Okay, so we can do this. And look, we got, oh, we got like containers and stuff we can store back here. You got your bed and your microwave and uh, refrigerator down there. I like that you can just interact with everything. Like that's one of the coolest things here. All right, so we need to fuel this bad boy up. So let's go ahead and, oh, we get to select how much fuel we we're going to put in. Just going to increase the amount all the way. How much money do I have? I hope I have a lot of money because I just spent a lot here. All right, grab that. Okay, so we have to insert it into the tank here. So we're going to click A. And boom, we are pumping gas. Nice. Uh, can we see on the other side? Do we have to hit the other tank? It's a good question. Is this a shared tank? Uh, refueling is done. Uh, can I I want to go inside of the gas station, actually. Hold on, let's go ahead and grab this. I want to check out and see what is in here. So, hello. Oh, it's a little pizza shop. All right, we got uh, some guys just hanging out. You always got one of those guys that just hangs out at the gas station. I don't think I'm going to talk to him. Cashier's awkwardly staring at me. Uh, dude, this is cool. Can I, like, oh, I can just grab stuff. Okay. So we can pick out some stuff. I got a, oh, I've got a candy bar on me. A winter coat. I got a, ch wait, I have a chainsaw. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to buy this. Buy some chips. Just buy a couple small things here. Is there anything else? Oh, can I get, oh, I can get coffee? Dude. Okay. I love coffee. Let's get some coffee. By the way, I have like $9,000 so I can get soda. I like that you can interact with everything in here. It's just pretty cool. So you get more food shelves. Uh, oh, drinks fridge. So we can get some drinks. Uh, get a couple bottled waters. Oh, uh, inventory's full. We'll have to store some in the back. Uh, anything else to interact with in here? Uh, honestly, it's pretty cool. So what can I do with you? Oh, you could buy... Uh, anything you need, uh, even like coolant engine oil. We better get that. I'm going to go ahead and stick this into the truck here, and then I'll come back in and get a couple of things for the truck just in case uh, we need to top off the engine oil or add coolant. I know that was a thing in the uh, the other demo. So yeah, it's so cool that you can come in here. You just uh, store up your stuff, put the chocolate bar, put everything in there right now. I don't think I really need anything. Yeah, the demo definitely feels a lot more, like, refined. Uh, I like the way this feels. Uh, let's go back up to the clerk, and let's go ahead and get a thing of coolant. Uh, and we'll get a couple engine oil. There we go. And there's painkillers, which, uh, sure, you never know. Maybe I'll get a, an achy back. I mean, uh, you're going to be setting a lot here, so uh, let's get back up in here and see if we can go finish uh, this job here. Okay, there we go. And break off. All right. And let's get moving. Uh, let's make sure we don't clip anything on the way out of here. Okay. So I need to go to the right here. All right. Uh, we are officially back on the road. Oh, my goodness. I am struggling up this hill. Um, so should I lock the differential? Uh, is that going to help? Okay. There it goes. Uh, that feels like that's helping. Yeah, it definitely helped me power up the hill there. By the way, it's 15.53, so that's roughly... We're almost at 3 o'clock. Looks like it's going to probably go into night as far as uh, this job. Or right at sunset. I, actually, I don't know what time sunset is here. Alaska could be a little bit of a, a different place when it comes to the way the time works. I'm getting a couple drops here. Uh, it is... Yep, it's starting to rain. Uh, I hope this doesn't start to get slushy at some point. All right, windshield wipers are on. It should probably not take my eyes off the road like that. I'm going to wind up plowing over a vehicle. Ooh, I do like the rain effect on the windows. It's pretty nice. Uh, is it getting colder? So it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is freezing. That plus 28. Like, this should be... Okay, are we going to see, like, a change in conditions as far as the road? Uh, I mean, it still looks pretty wet on the side uh, window here. It doesn't look like it's freezing, but uh, definitely got to be careful here. This is cool, though. Here we come over a bridge hall. We got a view of... There's like a little town over there, a little dock area. Uh, I know it's a double yellow line, but I feel like in order to get this load done before it starts to get nasty out here, I'm just going to go ahead and pass. We're on the tail end of winter, so I'm pretty sure it might still freeze. It says it's dry on the road, though, up in the top left. It's going to be a stop sign. Oh, my goodness. Come on, man. Uh, okay, that rain is definitely picking up. 
Uh, I wonder if this is going to change the way everything's driving. Oh, I'm getting speed limit updates. That's what that beeping is. You can see the in the bottom left. So, Cantwell. You know, I think that's uh, one of the towns that we had dealt with in the demo. Uh, Cantwell. But, like I said, the map is quite a bit different now. So, you know, I think we're going to get here a lot faster. Because it says I have four hours. I think that's the amount of time I have to deliver this. But I think... Uh, from checking the map, the refinery isn't too far from here. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can see some of the water coming off the back of the, uh, the trailer. Uh, it's a neat little effect. Yeah, our delivery is coming up. It's on the left side. The road kind of weaves back. Uh, we're gonna have a turn off up here. I need to be able to see it. Where is it? It's gonna be over this hill. I got a driveway or something coming up. Oh, there it goes. A car just came from that direction. Alright, so, no, it's actually a road. I was thinking maybe it was going to be a drive or something. All right, turn this. Oh, jeez. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> well, now you know what happens uh, when you hit a vehicle. It wouldn't be a Komodo video if I didn't at least plow something over. I just spun that guy around. It looked like a little Ford Ranger or something. Dude, the road is getting wet. Like, you can actually see it. Hold on, let me go down here. There definitely looks like there's water on it. Uh, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's driving really too differently right now, but uh, I don't know if this weather's going to continue to deteriorate or what's going to happen. Alright, the drive's coming up here. Let's try not to plow over another car. Is this cement truck pulling in here too, or is it just me? No, it's going to be just me. Where's your drive at? Uh, there it is. Alright, pull over. There we go. Alright, so this is the refinery, the PH refinery. Uh, let's see, where are we dropping this bad boy off? Oh, it's going to be just right here, I think. Got a couple guys standing out in the rain over here. Probably not too wise to do. It's kind of cold out here, fellas. All right, let's go right here. And uh, there we go. All right, let's go unhook this real quick. So what we're going to do, uh, we can go ahead and put the handbrake on there. Let's go ahead and fire this thing off. I uh, don't need the windshield wipers. Oh, uh, look at that. You can actually see the, the rain building up on it now. All right, well, we're about to get wet here. Do I have a raincoat? Should I be putting that jacket on? Uh, winter coat. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I don't wanna get too cold. All right. Oh, look at that. I'm actually wearing a coat now. Cool. Okay. Step out in the rain here. Oh man, the atmosphere. This is cool. Okay, I need to unhook this thing. So let's drop the trailer support real quick. So we're gonna lower that. There we go. I wonder if there's a flashlight. I feel like a flashlight would be, I mean, I might already have one. I have a flashlight. I have to go check the uh, the controls. Okay, let's go ahead and take these cables off. I'm sure we're picking something up from here too, potentially. Uh, all right, put that into that socket. Okay, and there we go. All right, so we got that unhooked, and then we can go ahead and unhook this here. There we go. We're unlatched. All right. Hey, at least you're smart enough to stand under this awning. All right, so we have finished that. Made a thousand bucks. I did get penalized seven hundred for plowing over that car. All right, this guy's got some jobs here. Uh, you got gasoline, uh, jet fuel. That'll take us to the Fairbanks International Airport. So some of them do look they have a license requirement. What is my license right now? Can I take any of these? Say I want to take this jet. Okay, so I don't have the license requirement for any of these, do I? That is a bit of an issue. Might need to go find somebody else that's got a job. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious how this works with the license. Uh, hold on, let's look at our map. We got any other... There's a ton of businesses in town. We might actually have to head into town real quick. There's also a hotel we could stay at. I mean, I'm game for packing it up for the night and then stopping at one of these businesses in the morning because the weather is pretty treacherous. So I'm going to make a marker and get into town. And then we'll just start from there. Let's go ahead. Ignition. Turn the windshield wipers on. Handbrake off. All right, we're ready to move. All right, so we're going to add a stop. I'm going to set a waypoint to here. All right, let's get out of here. That's cool. It's a good, successful job. I'm assuming you level up, and then you can uh, get a higher-up license. Ah, uh, look at this. I can turn off the other license. That way I can see which ones I can go to here. Uh, so there is one place in town that's going to allow me to pick up. Uh, we will do that. I, I want to see if I can stay in the hotel first. Uh, also, I'm getting hungry, so we'll probably eat. I mean, I could stay in the truck, but I like the option. I mean, if you're a trucker, you're going to want to go take a shower or something. Okay, I'm hoping this is a motel and not a hotel. Like, I picture being out here in the middle of nowhere. It's going to be like one of those outdoor room motels. 
Kind of like what you see in the movies. Like, I'm really hoping that's what we deal with. I'm going to have to make a pass here. This uh, dump truck is going a little slow. Hope nobody's over this little bend here. I mean, the roads are pretty treacherous. Like, when you see the, a lot of the blind, like, spots, there's blind turns, blind hills. Definitely can see these people making quite a bit of money up here uh, working in this area. That's the hotel's, like, right here. Wait, where's the hotel at? Uh, okay, there's, like, an opening on the map coming up. Um, yeah, we're about to see what's actually here in town. There's a sign. Welcome to Cantwell. All right, well, Cantwell seems to be relatively empty. Wait, there's something to the side here. Uh, looks like some businesses. Hold on, let's pull left here. Oh, where's this motel and are we gonna get murdered in here? Oh, we need to check the map. I'm actually lost up here. Um, yeah, let's look at this real quick. Okay, my calculations are right. The motel is, is it on the right? No, it's like right here. What? Uh, is it this drive here? Hold on, are we getting a break in the weather? I feel like we might be. I'm gonna pull over here and I'm gonna actually probably go through partially on foot uh, before I try to fit my truck. Actually, that might be the hotel right there. According to my calculations, the hotel's actually on this side. Um, somewhere. All right, there's a sign that says construction site. Is this the hotel? You know what, we're gonna watch. Oh, well the rain stopped. Yeah, let's just cook dinner in the, I mean, it could be even this place. I'm gonna cook dinner in the uh, thing and then we'll head over to the uh, the other place. Okay, I think I have left my blinker on. It's fine. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and eat here. Eat that, uh, and then we'll eat a bag of chips. And we're gonna go ahead and let's rest. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can do that. It's good. Eight hours. Uh, we should be waking up in the wee morning hours. Okay, it is now two in the morning. I mean, it seems like the proper time for a trucker to get moving. Uh, my blinker has been going all night. Uh, oh, this is weird. I mean, it's actually almost as if we have more visibility now. There we go. Got the turn signal off. Did that. Okay, handbrake off. Let's go ahead. Mission on. Got our lights on. All right, let's go find the uh, the place that's actually got a job for me here. Oh, real quick, I want to show you guys this. Uh, hold on, let's open the hood here. I hadn't told me I needed to check this, but I figured, you know, in between loads, you might want to check everything. Does it tell me, like, how much oil I have? There's coolant oil. Coolant does not need to repair... Uh, oh, handbrake's not engaged. Um, it doesn't say anything. Oh, there's a fuse box over here, too. Okay, but yeah, this is something that you can do and interact with in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and close this up. All right, let's get moving. Okay, I got a marker set. There is a job for waste tires that I can take. Uh, so, yeah, we want to get over there. Is that a... Oh, there's another gas station up here. I think I'm good on gas. Uh, if anything, I would just stock up. I like checking out the gas stations. It's kind of neat, actually. Yeah, there it is over there. Okay, uh, the place that we're supposed to go to is over here on the left-hand side. Roads are showing wet right now, so I might want to be a little bit more careful. And, oh, there's a truck stopped up here. Oh, I'm going to go around that bad boy. Hey, come on, man. Do I have a horn? Come on, get out of my way. This guy just stopped. Okay, I'm not about to run over another person. Oh, let's, let's go around. Okay, he's into the business. Oh, we just cleared that. Oh, did you see that? That was beautiful. All right, uh, we should have a pickup up here. Let's just go ahead and put the handbrake. I'll leave it running. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, I'm going to pull over here and pick up a another job. Uh, but, yeah, I think we've kind of got a little bit more familiar with how this works and how open-ended it is. And definitely got to see some of the, the newer systems and how things have been updated. But, but yeah, I definitely want to check out the full release. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys next time.